All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakal Kodash, the Bonus Tower Apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. All right, and to you women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is near. All right, this is the brother Bashar. And um, so this just in, I, I believe today, that um, they just shut down the Canada border. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at this article right now. Yeah, the, the, it, the title is uh, Coronavirus Response. U.S. and Canada closing world's lo longest border to non-essential traffic. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down and I'm going to bring some scriptures. But first, before I bring some scriptures out, I'm going to read some more of this article. Just a little bit. Uh, it reads, uh, the United States border with Canada will temporarily close to non-essential traffic due to the coronavirus. The leaders of both countries said Wednesday morning. Okay, the U.S. Canada is the world's longest border between two countries. The closing will affect tourism, but not trade or workers involved in so-called essential work. We will be by most. All right, so um, all right, so basically they just closed down the uh the border, you know, from Canada to U.S. Um, and this is prophecy. And we're gonna get right to it. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, and we're gonna start at verse fifteen. Um, now this is prophecy that martial law would happen. Okay. Uh, again, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, and I'm going to start at verse. And, you know, before I read this, they say it's temporary, but you know how Esau is, man. He, he gets one foot in, and you can't let him get one foot in the door. You know, which the Lord is controlling all of this. You know, I, I, you know it is written that he was going to enforce martial law. Esau, you know. And, um, you know, once he gets martial law, he's going to keep it that way. You know, we, and, and it, 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 this can go, this can only go two ways. This can, it can go back to normal or it can continue on. But if it goes back to normal, it's only a matter of time until they enforce it again. And it's, a, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when they, if they, um, they enforce it um, until they suck it. Suck it. They're going to deem it mandatory so they can um, make way to, 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 to make the RFID chip mandatory. Uh, to, you know, to deem that, that mandatory chipping. Because, uh, they're gonna need martial law to in order to do that, and um, so we're just gonna jump into the scriptures. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse twelve. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plagues and punishment. That Yahweh Shai shall bring upon it. Okay, Egypt is the modern day America. Okay, the house of bondage. Okay, and the plagues that I've been have been that I've been having this place, you know, are, are, are you know, the, you know, are written in the book of Matthew, chapter uh, twenty four. All right, you, you can read. 
that from the first verse all the way down. And you can read about the plagues in that in that chapter. Shlakia. Verse 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with the fear consolation okay so it's gonna be a lot of uh a lot of sorrow a lot of people are gonna be crying in, around this time and also might I add when you read Matthew the 24th chapter and um the seventh verse uh to where around this time right here for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. These things have been happening. Okay, so let's read the next verse. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then, sh then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and kill you. Now, this is the time where many sorrows are going to start to erupt. And, um... One of the reasons why many sorrows are gonna, a lot of people are gonna be very sad and in mourning is because they're gonna be shutting things down, and which we see now. And this is a part of martial law. A lot of people are gonna be affected by it because a lot of people are, in due time, a lot of people are not gonna have uh, access to their medication. They're not going to have access to food. You know, there's going to come a point in time where they're not going to have access to food because um, they're going to deem this RFID chip mandatory, which we know, according to the, the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, that it is the mark of the beast. Now they're going to deem that mandatory, and um, a lot of people are going to have to choose between uh, life and death, okay? Because, uh, as, as it is stated in the 14th chapter of Revelation, uh, that, you know, whoever, whoever, um, receives that ship shall, you know, shall be destroyed. Okay, this is Revelation. Shalakia. Shalakim. It's, uh, it's late. It's Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark, which is the same mark written in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Which, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, continuing on, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of His indignation, and He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, which you know the Lamb. Was is uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, the 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 Messiah? Okay, and um, continuing on. Okay, so wh whoever receives that mark is going to be destroyed in this uh, nuclear destruction that the Lord has prepared for the future. For this place, uh, Babylon the Great, and uh, different parts around the world as well. And um, so, you know, now that we... All right, Shalakia, my, um, my camera died. Not my camera, but I ran out of storage. I got to free up some space. Uh, so this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he calls it Shalakia. And he had power. Slakim, start at verse 16. 
and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now there are they are purposely trying to crash the economic system. That's why the stocks are falling, and this is why they, they plan on giving everybody a thousand dollars. Now they're talking about two thousand dollars for each person who uh, missed out on work because of the epidemic, the pandemic, shall I say? Um, and um, with that, man, I'm just gonna you know eventually. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. It will crash. And that is when they will implement the RFID chip to be mandatory. And they're gonna, that's going to be a law, mandatory law. And whoever doesn't take that chip are simply going to be put to death. And uh, if you ask me, it is better to be put to death than to take that chip. Because if you, you know, for those of you who, who know that you are Israelites, um, and for those of you who don't know that you are Israelites, uh, which are so-called African Americans, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanics, and uh, to you Israelites, foreigners that are scattered throughout these other nations who don't know that you are Israelites. Um, if you take this mark, the Lord is going to destroy you. Um, if you take this chip, RFID chip, the Lord is going to destroy you. Um, and uh, just like the scripture said in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, we take uh, this is the beginning of verse eight. This is the beginning of sorrows. So uh, stay prayed up. Keep on reading the, the scriptures. And um, if you find a man of the, Lord, uh, of the Lord, try his words. You know, if you find somebody who knows this truth, try his words. And uh, make sure he has the 100% truth before you follow. You know GMS has the 100% truth. Um, but we know not every member of the elect is going to be a part of GMS. At Shalom. With that, Shalom, I'm with you. Well, I appreciate you. How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? For giving me the spirits through this video. The bonds, Tower Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, salutation to the hopeful elect. Keep on enduring. Shalom.